What's the crack guys and welcome back to another creepy TikTok compilation. I just want to say thank you for your responses in regards to the jar experiment. I am going to go ahead and get that set up in the next video or two. There will be a slight twist uh, to the experiment, but you just won't know that twist until the end of the experiment. Anyways, let's go ahead and dive straight into the creepy TikToks today. Here's the official Epstein list, but they did redact four names. Okay, let's go over it. Obviously, Ghislaine Maxwell, Virginia Lee, Kathy Alexander, Miles Alexander, James Ostrich, Philip Barden, redacted, Kate Blanchett, which... That, that hurt, dude. David Boyce, Lauren Booth, Evelyn Boulay, Rebecca Boylan, Naomi Campbell. Girl, you weren't only throwing phones. Carolyn Casey, Paul Cassell, Jaron Churcher, Bill Clinton. Not shocking at all. David Copperfield, Alexander Cousteau, Cameron Diaz. That also hurts. What the fuck, Cameron? Leonardo DiCaprio. That's not shocking at all. Alan Dershowitz, Dr. Mona Devins, whatever. Redacted, Bradley Edwards, Amanda Ellison, Simberly Espinoza, Jeffrey Epstein, obviously. Annie Farmer, Marie Farmer. There's a lot of girls on this. Alexandra Fikai, Crystal Figueroa, Anthony Figueroa. Were they married or siblings? Either way, weird. Luis Frey, Eric Ganey, Meg Garvin, Sheridan Gibson Butte. Robert Jufre Al Gore. What? Ross Gow, Fred Graff, Philip Guderian, redacted. Shannon Harrison, Stephen Hawking. <gasps> what? Stephen! Victoria Hazel, Brittany Henderson, Brett Jeff, Michael Jackson. Oh, God. Carol Robert Kess, Dr. Karen Kutikoff. Only one doctor so far. Peter Listerman, George Lucas. George Lucas? Sorry, this is my first time reading this. Tony Lyons, Bob Meister, Jamie Melanson, Lynn Miller, Marvin Minsky, redacted. David Mullen, Joe Pagano, Mary Paluga, Jay Stanley Pottinger, Joseph Riccari, Michael Rader, Mark Tafoya, Brent Tyndall, Kevin Thompson, Donald Trump, Ed Toodle. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Emma Va Vag oh, Vag yeah, Kimberly Vaughn Edwards, Crescenda Valdez, Anthony Valadares, Maritza Vasquez, Vicky Ward, Jaron Weisfeld, Courtney Wilde, Bruce Willis, Daniel Wilson, Andrew Albert, Cr that is a long name, Mr. Duke of New York, and this isn't even the entire list, this is just part of the list, but I thought it should be on TikTok, so there we go. I don't even know half of those names, if I'm honest with you, but the question I have here is why some of those names redacted? I mean, is there like a purpose behind that or are they going to be brought up later on in trials or something or I don't know what the reason is behind that. The other question is why would Stephen Hawkins of all people be on the list as well? No offense to him or anything like that, but what kind of, you know, what would be, I would have, yeah, I mean the only thing I can think of is, um, you know, the air chrome, that would be the only thing that I could think of. But let me know what you guys think. Pay attention America, especially if you live in New York City because they just passed legislation on 2.13. Google it, New York 2.13. This article was published on November 22nd, 2023 by Armstrong Economics, and it was uh, put up on LinkedIn. You guys can find this article very easily. Uh, this article on 2.13 is stating that the now has legal authority to remove residents from their homes and force them into quarantine camps. There is no age restriction. Children can be removed from their homes without parental consent. They do not need to warn citizens when they are coming or how long they must be quarantined. You will be required to take any steps the state mandates, including taking medication against your will. There is no due process, no court hearing, and no rule of law as the government may now abduct citizens in the name of public health. It goes on to state, you may not even take a test to determine if you are sick. The state has full authority over you and your body. This is one of the most restrictive and oppressive pieces of legislation to pass in U.S. history and nullifies our freedoms. There is one last chance to save New Yorkers, and that is the court of appeals. If they can do this in New York, they can do it anywhere. We must rise aware, raise awareness of what is actually going on before it's too late. Do you understand what that legislation is saying? That they can kidnap you, 
break into your home just because they think you're sick and put you in a quarantine camp and force you to take medications against your will. Does that sound like freedom to you? Because to me, it sounds like a dictatorship where they can come in and remove you or your children and force you to do things against your will because they think that you are sick. My fellow Americans, we need to stand up and stop this legislation. We need to stand up and come together and take back our freedom and our liberty in this country. It's up to you to do the right thing because government is going to continue to push its will on the American people. And if you don't stand up and fight, all hope, all hope is lost in this country. Google New York 2.13 and read the article for yourself and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. We need to stand up, vote for Anthony Hudson and vote for your freedom because as Americans, we deserve better. Now's the time. Enough is enough. Stand up, fellas. This is absolutely wild. And this won't apply to only New York. This is going to be applied to everywhere. It's going to be rolled out all over the world. Um, but I happened to have a look at 2.13 and it was actually struck down in July uh, for it to be later uh, overturned and reinstated. Um, it says here that it was overturned on a technicality claiming the petitioners of the suit lacked standing to bring the case in the first place. No worries, we. Ya nos llevó la verga. No, pues nadie. No, nadie, pero es que pasa, hasta parece. I wish the guy had moved the text box down to the bottom of the screen as opposed to the top left hand corner. But regardless, still reminds me of, believe it or not, it actually reminds me of the Corona. Uh, so I don't know why, but it does. Maybe this is the new Corona for 2024 and this is why we're all feeling like this. I don't know. They can try all they want to put a hole in the firmament, it's not going to happen, but is this used for that purpose or is this actually used for like a scientific purpose or like an astronomy purpose? I'll let you be the ones to decide on that. A country's public square with enough raw sewage. You just have to raise enough questions, spread enough dirt, plant enough conspiracy theorizing that citizens no longer know what to believe. Once they lose trust in their leaders, in mainstream media, in political institutions, in each other, 
in the possibility of truth, the game's won. Can someone tell Hed Obama here that the game's not won and it's far from won? And can someone tell him as well to look up Lake of Fire in the dictionary, please? Thank you. Phenomenon in northern Brazil. Ela não mete de minuto. 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 E pai, e a fumaça dela é diferente, é, né? Diferente. É, caiu alguma coisa do céu, pai. Gente, foi alguma coisa que caiu do céu aí, gente. E detalhe, gente, não diminui e nem aumenta. Aqui, aqui, aqui. Não, não dá pra não. Caiu, caiu. Caiu, caiu. Olha, tem outro bem ali, ó. Tem outro bem ali, ó. Vai, 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 mora embora. Mora embora, embora ali. Tem outro bem ali, ó. Olha lá, pai, ainda tá clarinho lá, ó. Não, mas tem outro lá ali, ó. Olha, tá tipo o redor moinho lá, o redor moinho lá. Ó. Olha, tá entrando outro pra ali pra trás lá, ó. Tá, tá lá, olha, 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 tá aí outro pra ali, ó. Bora embora, puta. Olha, apareceu outro bem ali, ó. Apareceu outro bem ali, ó. Outro pra ali, tá começando bem ali, ó. Será que é fogo fácil? Olha lá, olha lá, ó. Olha o outro ali, ó. Olha o fogo 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 Gente, isso é fenomenal, gente. Fenomenal, gente, ali, ó. Não, não vai, não, não vai, não, não vai, não. The first 10 seconds of that clip reminded me of Mr. Burns, you know, going through the forest uh, and everyone thought he was like an alien. I bring you love. It's bringing love, don't let it get away. Break its legs. Yeah. But um, apparently this is common. This happens all over the world and apparently all different countries have their own kind of names uh, to this phenomenon, so didn't know that. Like, have you guys ever heard of Rock City? It's uh, I've heard of a little bit about it, but it's way bigger than what I actually thought. Check it out. Hey, I'm delivering air into these caves. Look what the sign says: five million square feet. Is I'm dreaming? Five million square feet under here? Hey, I'm in the cave, man. I'm, a, I'm actually delivering a uh, pizza crust. I'm actually delivering pizza crust, but it's only 15,000 pounds, light as hell. I'm about 40 miles from the house. Yeah, they're looking to buy pizza crust, all right. But what I want to know is when did they start constructing the underground? You know, because they have like 5 million square feet. It would take you an awful long time to construct. If any of you guys know, please let me know in the comments below. This is something you'll never see in the middle of a day. Third Avenue in New York City. This is the future when everybody leaves and heads to Florida. They're on their way to Texas, Tennessee, Florida, Georgia, North Carolina, South Carolina. Look, somebody back there. 
because they've all fled the city and it'll be a city only of criminals, homeless, emotionally disturbed and migrants. I am Nostradamus. I see what's coming in 2024. Vast sea of emptiness. Can you really blame the people of New York wanting to leave? I mean, when you have a Rue 2.13 coming at you, who wouldn't want to be leaving, like? Can you imagine you're walking down the street, you're on the phone and you're heading to a shop and the next thing you know you're on the ground and you got a big dent on the side of the head from like a wheelie bin. Don't make unnecessary journeys. Don't take risks on treacherous roads and don't swim in the sea. Incredibly, people have been spotted in the water here in Black Rock and Salt Hill both today and yesterday. <laughs> Look, listen, I am straight and all that, and I swing straight and all, but we just appreciate the size of this man's balls. I mean, never mind Sasquatch here, like, but the fact that there's 20 or 30 birds walking towards you, that's no flinch from you. You're gonna want to take a look at this. Do you know what these are? So these are bunkers in South Dakota for the rich. Look at this, my people. Look. Look how huge is... How many rich people live in South Dakota? What? So meanwhile, the show is still going on on Earth. People can't afford rent. People can't afford their bills. People can't even afford food. And the rich are going underground to elude something that is about to happen. What is going on, y'all? Please share this video. Go find these people. If anything, this confirms to me that they've been planning this for a very, very long time. Like, is there anyone over there in South Dakota that can confirm this in some way? All right, one of the creepiest things I've ever seen. Is it just me or is this thing alive? So it's this giant doll that they're pulling out of the water, right? But you can see his face active in that thing. They say that it's a parade in like France or something every year. Here's the problem though. In the parade, they have wires attached to his face, but here they don't. And when they take the helmet off, you can see actual emotion in its eyes and in its face. The, I mean, the only way I could think of is literal magic. Like, magic never went anywhere. Watch how he watches the helmet. There's nothing attached to its head. So how are they doing that? is literal magic. There's no cables attached to his head like the way they were in the parade. There's life in its eyes. You can't tell me that's not witchcraft. You cannot tell me that's not witchcraft. And it's nothing new either. Creepy. That thing definitely looked creepy. There's no question about it. But is it magic? I don't think so. And the reason why I said that is because we have something similar over here. We call it Fimakul. Um, in fact, if I have any images or videos, you'll see that in a second.
Uh, yeah, look at what comes out of the sky. What the f is that, dude? What? Y'all see that? And you heard that loud boom? Big explosion. There was a huge explosion, and the car go and the car alarm started going off. You see the lightning, you hear the thunder, and you see that's coming out of the sky. I don't want to say it, but you see what it is, y'all. And the crazy thing is, it's setting off alarms and fire, uh, fire and sirens. I apologize, sirens. But this is also has been happening in Florida as well, y'all. I live right by the fire department, and it is constantly, constantly going off. And I'm hearing all these booms and bangs. And I'm not saying this is the cause, but this is very interesting, y'all. Because for the past couple of years, this right here has been a huge thing, hasn't it, y'all? In Paradise, California, the Amazon, Hawaii, that just happened. Like, this is coming up a lot, y'all. And I don't know where this video is from. It was sent to me, but I just thought y'all should see this very interesting thing. Because there's, there's a lot of things happening in the sky right now that we are not aware of. And I'm grateful for people to share these videos with They've been testing that mountain to do an awful lot recently, haven't they? But listen, we ought to go out there and warn all the celebrities and the elites, make sure the bunkers are all blue because, you know, their, their safety is, is of utmost importance. Alexa, what is the United Nations States of America? The United Nations States of America, UNSA, is a new nation formed after an apocalypse replaced the United States of America. It faced challenges, but various organizations and species helped rebuild. I can't believe it. There's no fucking way I just heard. What the fuck I just heard? Did you hear that too? Yes. I love the guy's response at the end. You know, he's like, yes. Now that's how they look front. But when you turn around and look at the back, it's like that. Now notice that they have three back bones. They're actually cartilage. Nevertheless, it's a much more efficient system than ours. They also have three ribs in their system rather than, than more. Here's a 45 degree look. And here's the back of the head. Notice the veins, no hair. And now when we talk about aliens, I pushed the issue and he said, well, there's kind of two groups of aliens. Well, he divided them, they divided them into two groups. Uh, one group he calls, it's like you have a ranch. And you have a ranch and you find that, that uh, one group are your wranglers that know how to wrangle your cattle. The others are wrestlers, ones that steal your cattle. And indeed, that the, the two groups uh, do act differently to the ones that are that are wranglers are much more friendly and have a, a better relationship with us. Here's uh, the other side of the alien too. Now also notice that their feet, where they have five toes, the toes are joined together like a frog, and uh, yet they are are uh, dissimilar. The first photograph he showed looked like the alien spoke to Big Fat One. What is going on in the sky? Every single day this week, there's been crazy things going on in the freaking sky, and no one's even talking about it. They want you looking at your cell phones so you can't see what's going on. Like that movie, Don't Look Up, that's literally what we're living in. And this is just the first of many I'm going to show you. And this was last night, I believe, yesterday. What is that? Notice how similar the color with this one is. This one was also filmed yesterday, yesterday night. You can't tell me something's not going down, like something is going on. But they'll try to tell you it's normal, yeah. In the UK, these things just start popping up in the sky. I'm sure someone's gonna try to rationalize it, right? Seen by multiple people. Maybe things like this is why the Bible says look to the sky. And this just happened over Poland. That reminds me of something. Remember the cloud that was over Turkey and then disaster? Then the cloud that was over Brazil, then disaster? 
wonder what it means. Remember, it's over Poland. And I just showed you all this one a few days ago. This happened right after Christmas. All of these are happening at the same freaking time. The same time. And that stuff going around it is fire. I showed you in the other video. It's literal fire going around. It's like a portal. The clip at the end of that video looked like a meteor, to be honest. And like one of those images kind of looked AI generated. But what do you guys think? You know, is there something that we should be watching out for in terms of Poland? Or, you know, is it something to do with like solar activity? Or is there something else that's going on, like Project Bluebeam maybe? No harm to you, but if I was driving through in a Banton town and I seen a car parked up alongside the Banton house, the last thing I'd be wanting to do is park up alongside it and then go and check it out. So something tells me that this is just pure cap, if I'm honest. The 18th of June, 1815, agents of the British arm of the Rothschild family looked on as Emperor Napoleon Bonaparte fought desperately to save his army from the jaws of a British-Prussian pincer attack. A Rothschild agent was able to get the news of Napoleon's defeat at the hands of Lord Wellington to Nathan Rothschild a full 20 hours before the news reached London. Nathan, the head of the British arm of the Rothschild family, put out the rumor to the London Stock Exchange that Napoleon had won the war. Stocks plunged by 98% and Rothschild was then able to buy up the entire British economy for pennies on the pound. When the news of Napoleon's defeat finally arrived, stocks soared. Britain was now the undisputed ruler of Europe, and Rothschild ruled England. I never knew that, so I suppose the more you know. Full of explosions, what may have been uh, an outgoing Patriot uh, ground-to-air missile, uh, some reported air bursts that may, may have been an intercept of an incoming Scud missile. We're really not sure. All we know is that the uh, air raid sirens have gone off, and we've heard the uh, outgoing roar of at least... Uh, one Patriot missile, we've heard some sort of air burst. We can't tell where it was from where we are right now. Uh, we're waiting to see what's happening. As you can hear, the air raid sirens are still going off around us. People are, uh, strangely enough, uh, used to it. This is the first one of these attacks that's taking place early in the morning. But they're... Uh, not showing you anything other than uh, what we've got now. What do you see there? Is that a missile going out? No. Uh, we're not we're not quite sure we can't show you anything else than what we're seeing right now uh because of uh military regulations we're not allowed to show you uh where the missiles might be going like watch the sky is the... something else uh coming in but uh, right now we uh can't uh, see much of anything and frankly this is what we can show you on television right now because of uh, military restrictions from both the uh, saudis and uh, the u.s Uh, CD, if you need to take cover, I notice uh, that you've got your gas mask in your hands. If you need we, to put it on, we, we please have, do so. If you need to take cover, we, please do so. We, uh, if you are it. able... If you are right, we are now led to understand that there are also firings in another city in Saudi Arabia. Uh, CNN's Carl Rochelle is, is here with me. He just came up. Uh, Carl, I know we can't be very specific given these restrictions, but uh, within those parameters, what did you see? Well, what I saw, I, I didn't see anything hit. I looked very, almost straight above us. There was a vapor trail coming from my right to my left, and there's a cloud of uh, something. It looks like it might have been an explosion, a cloud. Uh, a white say. Okay. 
Charles J. CNN reporting live from Saudi Arabia. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this shit. Look at the top ten things about Saudi Arabia. Maybe we could shorten the list to five. <laughs> oh God, geopolitics by Dan Quayle. <laughs> Je suis un journaliste américain. <laughs> Wolf. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love this country so much. Standing down now, I'm gonna I'm gonna go get my hamburger and my coffee. Good. We just got the all clear. All clear. Every time I order something, this happens. All clear. Thank you. Yeah. I'm starting to get real bothered by all this. Boy, did I almost look stupid. <laughs> Charles Jacob, CNN, reporting live from Saudi Arabia. Let's not say too much here, but we all know that this isn't CNN's first rodeo. How much does the earth cost? I'm going to buy the entire earth and be king. Mm. <laughs> what would you do if you were the leader of the free, of the free world? I'm going to take the smartest people on the planet and make them work on mechanical bees. You know, everyone making negative comments. The bees go get them. Like, what, I, I lost you there. Explain that, what do you mean by that? I've envisioned and will manifest mechanical bees. So my question is, what is wrong with you? Things you're saying are crazy. Are you serving man? Or are you serving the, the one and only master? Who? Me. What can you give me? What can you do for me? I think it's crazy. Have you always been this way? You should talk to a doctor about this. I don't think Kanye was referring to himself here. I think he was referring to Satan, but if he was referring to himself, then he needs to take his head to the toilet for a flush. This would be the perfect house for Turkey Neck Joe, wouldn't it? The only thing he'd be missing here would be the ice cream stand at the front. Bold and kind of in, in your face with them. They took us out and they took us into this very, very long corridor. In this corridor was thousands of people lined up. It, the corridor, uh, it seemed to be at least a hundred yards long, probably longer. But in my ability, in, in depth perception in the dream, it was a long, long line of people and every five or six minutes, minutes, excuse me, these people would walk forward and take a step. We had been in this line for a long time when people would barge in through the doors on the side of this corridor and begin to grill people and tell them to renounce their faith. They would never use the name Jesus. They would never use the name Jesus Christ. They would never use the name God. But they would say, you should renounce your faith in him while you can still live. And your faith is empty. And it was a, a blasphemous kind of a... a challenging that these people were bringing against the people in the line and every so often somebody would crack they would just collapse and and they would drag them away and they would renounce their faith in christ it it, it made me very very uh, uneasy to be in this line because i wasn't quite sure what they were going to do to us i wasn't sure if they were going to put us in prison or maybe beat us up to scare us or or what it wasn't made clear yet to us 
Eventually, we made it through a battery of three double doors. After the last double door, we were put into like a holding cell kind of a room. And there was the old man uh, in the front of the line, my wife, and then myself. And they opened the doors very quickly and took this older gentleman into the room. And uh, I don't know what happened to him at this point in the dream because they shut the doors very quickly. Well, six minutes or so later, they opened the doors this time wide open. And what I saw was uh, the most empty feeling I think I've ever experienced in my whole life. I saw this man that was a very, very big man. I, I, was, I was sharing uh, earlier in the tour that he was tall like a, a professional basketball player, but he was very uh, big like a professional football player. He was an extremely large uh, man, and he had a big uh, hood, like a satin hood, over his head with eye holes uh, to see out of. My wife was in front of me, and they began to tell her she could renounce her faith and, and live. And now I realized what was happening, because this man was standing there with a huge sword. I probably should have drawn a little transparency tonight to show you what the sword looked like. But uh, to, to, to trace it kind of in the sky, so to speak, it, it, it started down here with a handle and began to come up like this, and then like this, and then a big arch like this. And it was a very, very frightening looking sword. And then I saw this table that was a little bit longer than the average human being and a little bit wider. And they st my wife said she wasn't going to renounce her faith in Jesus. And then That's only a three minute clip of his dream. His video is like way over two hours long, but you should definitely give it a watch. And that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the creepy TikTok compilation. Smash that like button and subscribe button so this video can be recommended to others and also help it with the YouTube algorithm. And until the next video, look after yourselves, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you then.